So if you've ever bragged of how long it's been since you've last gotten a workout, or if you're wishing that you could make fitness more a regular component of your daily life as a medical student, then this is the video for you. All right guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today we're talking about something that's often overlooked, especially in a population that's trying to take care of other people, which is taking care of ourselves by incorporating some fitness. And I get it, it's hard, hours are long, and trying to find some time to exercise gross but in this video we're going to talk about strategies that are going to make it so much easier to incorporate exercise into your busy life and not make exercise sound so nauseating and requiring some zipofran but before i forget make sure if you enjoy this video to smash that like button help this video in the youtube algorithm as well as the channel grow by subscribing we're putting out two videos on a weekly basis even with a residency schedule so make sure you show the channel some love especially if you enjoy this content and if you guys have any questions make sure you drop them in the comment section but tip number one on how to become more fit or incorporate fitness is to make it predictable. I think sometimes the easiest thing for us to do in our life is to have little blocks and sections in our week and our day to know that's my time to go work out, to go lift, to do yoga, whatever it may be, block it off and make it very predictable. So saying on Wednesdays, you know, I have this time slot open, I'm always gonna get a workout in during that open time slot and I can't hang out with other people, I can't study, I'm booked. My life, my health is booked at that time. It is a good way to look at it because you can basically think of it as a meeting that's already booked for you to spend time on you. Now tip number two is to lower the resistance threshold. Sometimes there are so many excuses that we've had to get a workout. Think about it. I'm planning on going for a run and I can think of like a hundred. I just ate, which is a bad idea. I feel like I should have more water in my day. I'm clearly not dressed to go for a run, but there are things you can do to make it easier to exercise. So one of the things that I love doing is having my gym bag in my car. I always have a pair of my clothes, shoes, my gym bag, and my weight lifting gloves in my car. So on my way from work, I go straight to the gym instead of finding potential excuse when I come home to grab that stuff that maybe I can't work out today. So make it low threshold. That means maybe like putting your shoes out by the door, having your clothes for the gym packed the night before, having your water bottle filled up. Think about all the excuses, the little tiny steps that prevent you from going and make sure you take those right steps. Now my next tip is to keep it fun and interesting, especially for somebody that's been into fitness and been into exercising for several years. Even I face this like mundane stretches of time where I just don't wanna to go to the gym because there's nothing exciting or motivating to get into it in the first place. But there's a lot of great ways that you can make your fitness interesting. One great way is to just to challenge yourself and track your progress. So if you're a runner, that means tracking, you know, your speed for a certain distance or running a longer period of time, something like that. And seeing if your splits get better, if you're a weightlifter, then track some of your most desired, you know, weight movements and seeing how your bench, your squat, your deadlift change over time. If you're into sports, track your performance of how good you are at shooting the basketball or how much quicker you are than the rest of the people that you've been playing with for long periods of time. Those little things can always make you challenge yourself and there's always a reason to get better. And in addition, if you're somebody who likes to go to the gym but get bored ever so often of using the same workouts and just need a little bit of more pep to your step and just a change to your routine, there are a lot of apps that are kind of randomizers of workouts. So I'll link one that I've been using down below. Basically, you pick the body parts you wanna work out, what equipment you have available that you like to use, how many sets you want to do and how long you want to work out and it'll go ahead and combine body weight as well as weight bearing exercises and it's, it's good it makes it interesting and that way every gym workout i feel like i've basically been trained by a different trainer um, so it's a great way to challenge yourself so you guys can check out that app down below my next tip for you guys is to keep it personal you don't have to go to the gym and lift weights just because everyone else is doing it you don't have to become a runner playing sports doing ballet dancing there are so many ways to get your heart rate up. You can literally climb the stairs back and forth. My wife and I would do the seven minute workout, which I'll link down below, like that was shown in the New York Times. There's an app for it. There's even YouTube videos where people will do it. It's literally seven minutes. Um, it doesn't take very long, but sometimes that would be your go-to workouts. So make it personal, whatever your life circumstances are, and do what you think is best for you. That may simply just be taking a 30 minute walk, going for a run. Make it personal, do what you enjoy. That way fitness is easier to get into. I have two more tips for you guys. The next one is that you're saying that short is okay. You don't have to be in the gym for an hour at a time like the misconception is made out to be. Instead, you can get a great workout in 10 minutes. One of my favorite forms of working out are doing things such as high intensity uh, interval trainings. Uh, particularly, I love Tabata trainings. That's basically where you take a set of exercises like jumping jacks, push-ups, 
Um, you can add weightlifting in there, but you pick exercises you're comfortable with and you go 100% effort for 20 seconds and then you take a break for 10 seconds and you repeat. So you can either pick one exercise and repeat it for four minutes total. There are all sorts of other, um, timers that you can find um, on the app stores, or you can pick a couple of exercises and circuit through them for four minutes. So one Tabata is basically four minutes and I'll usually do about two and because you're going at 100% at a time for a majority of a minute, you're going to have your heart rate up, you're gonna feel like you worked out for a long period of time, and it's just a 10 minute workout. So definitely give that a try, especially if you feel like your time is short, or if you don't really know that many exercises and jumping jacks and push-ups and burpees are kind of your limitation. My last tip, I know a lot of you guys do it, and it's totally recommended, is to multitask, especially when you can, with things like cardio. So bring your syllabus, bring your notes, your flashcards to help you while you're doing your exercise. That way you can feel like you're getting your studying because I know sometimes studying is the main thing that gets in the way of finding time for exercise and try to do it at the same time. So a lot of times I would have my iPad as well as my syllabus notes and at the very end of my gym session, I would walk on the treadmill for 10 minutes and try to do some flashcards. So it'd be a great opportunity to get my head into study mode because that's probably what I was gonna do when I go home. And on that note, if you feel like studying is the main reason that you're kind of struggling at getting fitness into your life, then make sure you check out my free course to kind of help you step by step on how I studied and maybe you can help you save some hours if in case you need a new method it's a perfect place for you to check it out but those guys are my top tips to help you become more fit stay fit in a medical school as well as a resident if you guys have more questions or kind of need more tips make sure you comment down below if you did enjoy this video before you click off and you go ahead and watch uh, funny cat videos make sure you hit that like button um, and there are gonna be some videos above me hopefully here and here that I think would be good for you to watch maybe that one that one you can click on both if you want whatever whatever works for you um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.